Yes, vlog. Yeah, we're uh, coming to you. Uh, we're gonna try this out now in this position. I'm still uh, sitting outside. It's about two. It's about two hours and ten minutes into the day. Yeah, well, yeah. Two hours and ten minutes into the day of uh, Monday, June twentieth, two thousand sixteen, and we're vlogging outside. I had basically been uh, sort of trying to figure out how the how the camera is going to end up working out here uh, seeing uh, how the lighting is going to work how uh, uh, how it shows up uh, when you watch it on TV when a big TV or a small TV and it actually comes up pretty good the, even when I I think I see the left side of my face uh, on the, in the viewer is as rather dark but uh, it comes out much better uh, uh, on the screen uh, once it's processed uh, than what I'm seeing here so this is the goal to sort of, sort of see whether or not oh I can vlog from the chair without really sort of moving though <laughs> uh, the end my, my end of the week comes when uh, I get too fatigued to continue and all, all I want to do is sleep you know, whereas you reach that hill. You're getting to the almost to the plat, almost to the top there, and you need a little bit of a rest, just at the top there before you start heading down, and across, and then up again. See, it's, 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 it's not that you're reaching the top of the hill and going down after that. You're reaching a sort of a plateau, and there's a bit of a rest, and then you're moving up again uh, in the beginning. So I would say by uh, tomorrow night. Uh, things will shift again a little bit in terms of when I'm awake and when I'm asleep, and uh, I'll push forward. Uh, so, physiologically speaking, this is the end of the week. It's two o'clock in the morning, and uh, we're sitting outside. I like it like this, sitting outside like this. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can't do this during the day. Uh, there's too many people around here uh, in, in the industrial area. But a night like this, there's no one around. Uh, it's very quiet. Uh, I got a full moon out, so that's nice. Uh, it kind of reminds me of my, my grandmother's place uh, in uh, Boston. Uh, she lived uh, on Washington Street, just a little bit uh, around uh, Grove. And the fire station. There's a fire station there that I always used to, uh, at night. The, the fire engines used to go out and do their different runs and so on and so forth. So you'd hear them a lot. And I'd sit on the porch. There's a, my grandmother had a porch in one of these double-decker apartments. Uh, she owned the entire building, so owned the entire house, so both upper and lower floors. But uh, she lived on the upper floor, and we used to sit on her porch and just sort of, just, you know, one two o'clock in the morning. Because it's what happens is that uh, during the day it's very hot and there's no air conditioning in there. Uh, my mom, she never ended up putting in air conditioning, so. It was always fans and so on and so forth and different drinks to keep you cool. And of course at night when the temperature did drop and there was a bit of a breeze outside, you'd go sit out on the porch uh, for some uh, fresh air and that's when you'd get your cool air and that's when you'd start cooling down. And, you know, your body's temperature would start to regulate better uh, as the sort of temperature dipped at night. And this is sort of the same situation here is that... Um, the air conditioning in my place right now is not working properly. It's been like that for a while. And so, at night, around 2 o'clock in the morning, I get up, come out, 
waiting for a garbage truck to go by. Gotta stand up. Yeah, there's a garbage truck coming. I mean, this is the issue that uh, sometimes you're sitting out here and uh, there's a garbage truck that constantly come by. Here it is. Here. This is what you have to be careful for. So you can air out as much as you can air out as much as you want. You just have to be somewhat careful uh, when they come up. Take care of the garbage because uh, if they don't see you properly, then well, you end up getting smushed. <laughs> so this is the garbage. So usually they used to come around two, uh, four o'clock in the morning. Now they're coming a little bit early. They're coming a little bit earlier now. So I'll wait till this guy pulls out, and then we'll sit back down again. This is also looking like grandmother's house. She lived the east next door to her nursing home. And the garbage truck would come at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. You'd hear the diesel coming in. They'd lift the, they'd lift the, uh, the, the, the uh, bin up, dump it into their uh, hold, and then go from there. Now, let's see, is this guy going to go? around because there isn't a round and out there or is going to come back this way we'll sort of have to see what he ends up doing well, that's it for the garbage <laughs> now let's see which way he goes out I got a bit of corn stuck in my teeth Looks like he's coming out this way. You can hear the diesel. Okay, he's gone out and he's gone down to the uh, left. He's gone, uh, the uh, left is uh, west, so he's gone west down the street. Uh, that leads us here just sort of hanging out. And yeah, this, is, this is, kind of reminds me of my grandmother's house. Uh, uh, when she lived in Boston, uh, uh, she's long gone. <laughs> so all that are left are the fond memories. Uh, and I, I do this enough that uh, on a yearly basis that, uh, and also cooking. When I do my cooking, I, um, I think about her a lot. So uh, I do the, the the Middle Eastern, the Syrian cooking, the Asian cooking. Uh, it's all that type of stuff that sort of. Uh, uh, Brings back the memory. Brings back with the smells, the tastes. Brings back the memories of uh, her kitchen, cooking in the morning, stuff like that, or cooking in the evening uh, for dinner or whatever she'd be making. So, oh, uh, anyways, uh, that's about it. This is this is the end of my end of my end of my week. Uh, the fatigue is sitting in. I still have another hour to, to air out my place, so I'll be finishing around three o'clock in the morning, going in. Probably having having a bite to eat, uh, some more iced tea. The iced tea is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a uh, date loganberry infused uh, iced tea. This is real Asian tea. It's not. This is not uh, the store bought stuff. This is stuff I've learned to make myself. I've learned through my own uh, uh, fruit tea mixes and uh, the fruit treat, fruit treat, fruit, uh, fruit tea drinks. And they're coming out very nicely. It's, and and the price is right. It's like I think it's like uh, thirty or. 40 cents for nine liters that's about uh two gallons so can't go wrong for that price so uh i think i'm gonna leave it here and uh i'll see you guys in the next segment all right take it easy well hello everybody I'll try another video like this let's see how it is there's a, a fair bit of wind here because there's a windstorm coming in 
Uh, there's supposed to be a thunderstorm, but uh, so far mostly wind. The car is rather clear. There's some overcast, some uh, high level clouds, but not much. Uh, anyways, uh, it is 22 hours and 55 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, June 20th, 2016. Uh, as I said before last night, uh, well, I was up last night around 3 o'clock in the morning. And it was still, it's still the 20th. <laughs> I have two nights within one day. Um, uh, the, weekend's, the weekend is upon me. The weekend uh, sort of uh, physical collapse is here. Uh, so I'm sleeping more. But at the same time, I'm also getting uh, a, a, a good chunk of work done. But nothing fairly significant in terms of uh, heavy discussions. Uh, what is occurring right now? Whoa, let's see how this one's working out. Uh, this is the heavy wind. It's really buffeting my ears. I don't know how it's going to come up with a video. Basically, I'll wait for the little some stuff sides. And the only reason why I'm talking now is I want to actually hear uh, how the can how this camera handles in the wind like this uh, as I'm speaking. Whether uh, it drowns everything out because I know before it was it, it, uh, walking up there. The, the, I, I would expect the wind to have dropped out, uh, drowned out my voice, but uh, it didn't. So uh, <laughs> the thing is to do it here like this. Like now, uh, it's a higher wind and. Uh, see what happens with the voice. But now that I've been doing a fair amount, it's, it's mostly organizational work uh, that I've been doing, cleaning up some odds and ends, uh, doing some work. I have uh, in the kitchen diner doing some work and in the, uh, uh, the editing bay there. Uh, I still have to write down some of the uh, tests. I have to sort of take notes on the tests. I've done the uh, audio tests uh, to deal with uh, issues with the Nikon camera sort of, uh, when I'm filming with it. And then the other thing is I have to do is I have to start working, uh, finish the work uh, that I need to get done on the uh, music studio so that I can get working in there as well. So uh, there, there, there's, there's bits and things going on, a uh, lot of odds and ends that have to be sort of taken care of. You get things, you, you get the product done, and you, see, you, you look around and say, okay, okay, I've done this project now, I've done this other product, uh, what does it connect to next? And this is sort of the things you can look, look around, you see what it's connected to next. Uh, is there work that needs to be done in terms of the connection or do you just simply have to connect it? Uh, a lot of times, more often than not, is that their work ha does have to be done uh, on the uh, other sub-project. Things that uh, really didn't come into mind until you finished the work on this project that you're working on, on the current project that you're working on. You go back to another project or sub-project that's related, You've learned new techniques. You've learned new. You have new understandings, and a new understanding, and then uh, go back and look at it again from a second perspective, uh, and you realize that there are bits and pieces that are missing. And in order to connect them together, you have to sit down and work on those bits and pieces, uh, bit by bit. <laughs> it becomes sort of a sub-project in its own, sort of doing the final connection, the, the final fitting uh, uh, for it. So. Uh, it's not bad. It's just, it's just, it just it just takes a while. So uh, anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for well, not gonna be it for today. Uh, I will be doing work later on, so probably I won't be finishing until ooh four or five o'clock in the morning, and that should give me an idea of where I'll be heading for Tuesday. Uh, <sighs> in terms of my workload. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll uh, see you in the next segment. Well, hello everybody. It is uh, 23 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Tuesday, June 21st, uh, 2016. And I figured I'm just getting outside now, but rather than wait uh, because it smells like rain, uh, and that means there possibly is a rainstorm coming. 
uh, vlog now and uh, avoid the consequence of not having to vlog of not being able to vlog uh, later on if it starts to rain so uh, this is where we are right now and <laughs> yeah um, things are going well I'm getting things achieved that I need to get done um, the goal I said in terms of getting out uh, 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 one of the one of the uh, blog pages up that I need to get up that's done and so we can move along with that I've done some more of the uh, video test shots uh, for a variety of series that I'm going to be shooting, but uh, uh, I'm still learning how to work with the camera. It's, it's, it's basically a Nikon DSLR. Uh, I've got the audio problems resolved, and I think I have the uh, video focusing. Because this, uh, this camera is automatic, so it does a good job at focusing on things. It's, it's, it's uh, pretty good, but the other one... The lens, it's, it's, a long, it's a longer telephoto lens, it's, and anyone knows about DSLR, uh, there's gears and motors in there. So every time it goes to do a uh, autofocus, uh, the sound of the uh, uh, lens uh, being adjusted shows, uh, comes into the audio. So uh, that's not a good thing. So you have to turn off the autofocus uh, when you're shooting a movie, and you have to manual focus. But... Uh, Manual focus is a little more complex, particularly if you're zoomed in, and uh, had to find a sort of a sit-in dummy for uh, me to see where I'm sitting, and then uh, focus on that. And then once I can focus on that, that will sort of resolve the problem of uh, uh, getting the right focus. So right now I'm either a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit blurry, a little blurry. You know, I'm not exactly in focus. It's not bad and out of focus, but it's not where it should be. And uh, I think I've resolved the problem. Uh, but I've got to wait tonight, maybe a little bit later on tonight. I'll do another video test shot. Uh, but I've got to cool the place down a little bit. Just sit out here for about an hour or so, but maybe about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning if it doesn't rain. Well, when it, basically, I'm out here as long as it doesn't rain. So and that's going to be for about, about two hours, right? Because it's about quarter to 12 right now. And uh, after about quarter to 12, uh, quarter to 12, 2 o'clock in the morning, that's about uh, two hours outside. That should be cool, good enough to cool the place down. Uh, that means I can, put, I can put all the lights on that need to be put on to do the filming. Uh, and because they they add a lot, they add heat to the environment. So, uh, if you've got a cool environment uh, and you're putting heat into a cool environment, it's not much, that big of a deal. Uh, but if you're doing it midday, where you're having the heat from outside come in, uh, and the place is already 80 degrees, and you put these hot lights on, then while well, you're going to push your temperature uh, <laughs> well above the 80 degree mark, and uh, that's not good for your equipment, and it's not good for you either. So, uh, <laughs> but as I said. Uh, do my grandmother's thing. Remember go, is it going back to my grandmother's house because my grandmother's house and uh, uh, we'd be there every summer oh, from when I was little and it, it, they, she didn't have air conditioning so uh, the goal was every time you were there there'd be hot and sweaty days and you, you gotta find a way to keep cool even though there wasn't an air conditioning around so <laughs> these, these, these things come back when you're in these situations again these things come back and this includes uh, sort of sitting outside getting some fresh air and you know, you know it's, it's nice it's, it's, there's nobody around it's completely desolate no one's, well no one's really here some people have left their cars here but uh, the people themselves aren't here so <laughs> the only thing you have to sort of watch out for is the uh, every now and again uh, a skunk waddles by and <laughs> he looks at you and go, you know decides whether he's going to spray you or not. So, but they don't—they they never come that close. <laughs> but it's sort of thing you, you you've got to be concerned. You got to sort of watch to make sure that the the animal is uh, uh, <laughs> is even tempered, if you will, uh, and is not sort of prone to. Uh, 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 excitement. There, because there are actually been some that, are, that that just simply look for trouble. There are some animals that just you know they go out there and they fight all the time. You, you can and you can hear them at night. You can hear them fighting and screaming and you know <laughs> the, the good old fun at nighttime. The uh, the evening brawlers, or should I say late night brawlers, because uh, they're out uh, well till uh, three four o'clock in the morning. They don't start going to bed until around five six. 
Uh, that's their, uh, well, they're nocturnal animals, right? They, uh, they, they go around at night, at night just the way uh, raccoons, right? They're out typically at night because they're nocturnal animals. <sighs> and so, yeah. So I said things are going well, and uh, but I'm not posting on a daily basis right now. Posting on a daily basis. There's been a couple of days. There's going to be a couple of days gap between uh, when one one episode when this episode goes up because there just wasn't uh, enough to film. I mean, there's not always uh, something to have a uh, well a heavy in depth discussion about. Uh, so <laughs> it's not that. Uh, there, no, it's not that uh, there's always something amazing that sort of uh, uh, have this wild discussion and sort of bring in a lot of people to have this wild discussion. So it's sitting around, uh, waiting for the place to cool off, doing your laundry, washing the dishes, uh, cleaning the kitchen, uh, stuff like that. These are mundane, every task, mundane, everyday tasks that have to be done. And so it says it's not always going to, in terms of behind the scenes, it's not always going to be as in launching rockets. It's uh, usually the sort of routine stuff, the stuff that uh, uh, is kind of left out of uh, most of the uh, documentaries when you watch these, uh, the, <laughs> the movies and documentaries, which is, is what you're not seeing. Yeah, here we go. What you're not seeing is uh, in these uh, documentaries, you're not seeing uh, the long hours they put in to do the research, and you don't see them. You don't see them uh, filing uh, for their grants. You don't see them uh, uh, doing the office and paperwork. Um, there's also writing, writing a paper. You know, I mean, how is it, how interesting is it to watch somebody write a paper? You know, if you're writing a, science, a paper for a scientific journal, you know, that's not exciting to watch. Uh, I mean, it may be exciting to read, particularly if it's technical, and there's information there you want to see and understand. That's exciting if you're, if you're another researcher. But for the average person, you're not into all the so-called technical stuff. Uh, then it's not in You want to see the pretty scenery. Anyways, I think that's going to be about it for now, and I will see you in the next segment of Big Bang Theory Rails, BTS Blog. All right, take it easy. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. Uh, I haven't uploaded because the uh, uh, this episode is not finished yet. I haven't been doing a lot of vlogging the last few days. Uh, oh, let me get a time and date stamp. Uh, before I forget, it's 23 hours and 36 minutes into the day of Wednesday, uh, June 21st, uh, I think it is uh, 2016. Let me just look at my phone and check to see. I just checked, but it's kind of slipped my mind. Uh, that's kind of the day it's been. Uh, work's getting done. It's not that work isn't getting done. It just... 23 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Wednesday, June 22nd. Okay. We were off by one day. I mean, that's that's something that's, that's kind of the way things go sometimes is that uh, uh, I said, you don't always have uh, uh, deep discussions available. It's not always on top of your mind. Or... Um, uh, it's not that it's anything important, but sometimes you feel more like a, in a quiet mood, and so there is no discussion to really to, to, to be had in terms of, uh, you now let me tell you what I'm thinking, because <laughs> it's not much of anything. It's, it's been mostly we've been thinking about my cartoons, the what I'm watching in terms of my cartoon, and then uh, uh, think about if I, if, if I were writing the episodes, if uh, how I'd do a fan fiction, and stuff like that. Uh, this is a, sort of the nerd stuff. That is coming out. I've been doing film tests uh, with the, with the camera, the DSLR, to get the uh, uh, got the audio fine. The audio is all right now. Now I'm working on uh, the focus and the video quality. Uh, I should have that finished tonight. I'll do one more test tonight uh, for uh, focusing and the camera settings, and that should give us uh, 
uh, what I'm looking for in terms of uh, video quality and uh, the focus issue. But uh, uh, but that means uh, filming is put off until Thursday. I mean, I mean, this is, this is it. Every, every time I say, okay, I'm going to do something, the assumption is, okay, it's going to be rather easy and it's not going to be that difficult to get into and uh, blah, 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 blah. But what happens by the time you do get into uh, the actual work, get down to everything, uh, the anticipation that you had of what's going to happen is doesn't, it often doesn't meet reality and there's a lot more complications that come in uh, and push back the date. But I think this is this is the way it is. You keep pushing forward, you keep pushing forward. If you make mistakes, if, if you get a little bit, you're making mistakes, but if you get a little progress out of it, you've moved forward and if you keep pushing at it, then you'll eventually move ahead. And that's kind of the way things are here, is, is that uh, we try things that are rather difficult sometimes and uh, I, not always easy for me to get right away, but in time, as I push forward uh, and learn from our mistakes, uh, we have progress. And that's kind of the way uh, we're going here. So uh, uh, I should have uh, the video tests done this week. I said that tom uh, tonight and tomorrow, so it's Wednesday, Thursday. If I can get into uh, 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 film testing, just do one episode, uh, let's say uh, Tweetline Plus, and get that out, that will sort of get me a uh, better feel for where the, the video studio is going to work. And then maybe I can start working on the uh, Kawhi Tea House TV uh, shows. I have, I have two of them there. I have uh, Live in the Kawhi living the Kawhi life, and then there's also uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek, that should come back as well. Uh, I'm hoping to get one out for two episodes, t actually I'm get two episodes out in July, and that will hold everything over until uh, uh, till September, where I can get back into the studio and get things done, you know, because I'm basically, at the end of July, I'm going away for two weeks uh, uh, to do some uh, research up north. And so I'll be in the North Woods. There's no uh, real, uh, there's no uh, uh, cell connection. There's no Wi-Fi up there. Uh, I mean, it's, the, the cell connection there. When there's no, the cell connection is intermediate, intermittent, and you only call out for, for oh, when something's necessary. Otherwise, in terms of having a discussion back and forth, and that, that just doesn't happen. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of the way things go. Uh, I just did some repairs on my mailbox. I put that out in front. Maybe I'll show it to you tomorrow in, in the next vlog. Because uh, like th this this uh, this uh, uh, segment of the Big Big Bang Theory Rosby TS should be the last one. Then I should have enough uh, uh, footage on here that uh, I can move everything off onto the uh, editing bay and produce the next episode. So which will go up again tomorrow. You know. That, you know. <laughs> Oh, anyways, I'm just going to leave this here for now and uh, sit outside and enjoy the night air. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.